November 9, we are going to celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran. You might be thinking, why do we celebrate a church's dedication? It is good to review its history, our history. For many years, Christians in the Roman Empire were not allowed to publicly celebrate their faith. They were persecuted. Their worship was deemed illegal until the proclamation of the Edict of Milan in 313. The Edict, co-authored by Emperor Constantine I and Emperor Licinius, granted religious freedom to all people within the empire, including Christians. Constantine I, the first Roman emperor to become Christian, donated the Lateran Palace to the Bishop of Rome. The palace was converted to a church where the Roman Christians got baptized and where the Bishop of Rome preached and took up his residence. In 324, Pope Sylvester I consecrated the church to the Most Holy Savior. Later, the basilica was also dedicated to Saints John the Baptist and John the Evangelist. Being the oldest church in the Roman tradition and being the church of the Bishop of Rome or the Pope, the Lateran Basilica is appropriately recognized as our Mother Church. In 1565, the celebration of the Lateran Basilica's dedication was extended throughout the Roman Catholic Church. Doing so underlines the connection of the churches within the Roman tradition, which were all born of one mother, the Lateran. Celebrating its dedication also reminds us of our closeness to the Pope. It is good to remember that the Lateran is the cathedral church of the Diocese of Rome. Therefore, it is the seat of the Bishop of Rome, who is the Pope of the Universal Church. As the cathedral, it houses the Pope's cathedra or chair, which is a sign of his teaching authority. This is the reason why the Lateran Basilica is unique among all the four papal basilicas in Rome, namely St. Peter's, St. Paul outside the walls, and St. Mary Major. Considered the head of all churches, it is called the Arch Basilica. But aside from these historical and technical details, this feast reminds us of God's desire, according to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, for his people to have a physical space where they may gather and worship as a community. There, brothers and sisters, I invite you to participate in the celebration of the dedication of St. John Lateran in your parish. This feast celebrates our first church where early Roman Christians were able to finally gather and publicly worship God. And it celebrates us too as a community of believers and as a living church who profess the one faith. Happy Feast Day!